what's up you guys welcome back to the channel uh, first official video that has something to do with investing on here um, in the new studio so i'm pretty excited about that uh, i had someone ask me a question and i thought it would be interesting to answer this one so how did i get started what was the first step to getting involved in real estate investing um, investing of any sort now you can get a lot of different advice from a lot of different people um, one of the key things that I've realized in my life is that when I get advice from someone, I'll take advice from anybody, um, but I always try to make sure that that person doesn't have any vested interest um, in their response to my question. Um, so if I ask the question uh, to somebody, you know, when's the right time to buy a house? Well, if you ask a realtor, they'll say today. They'll actually probably say yesterday was the best day, uh, but today is just as good. Tomorrow you're behind the eight ball. Uh, if you ask a question to a fisherman, you know, when's the best time to go fishing? They're going to say right now. Uh, so you always want to make sure that you're asking questions uh, to multiple people and that you, you take into account when you get those responses, you know, do they have an invested interest in, uh, in, their, in their response to me? So for me, of course, I'm not selling you anything. I'm not here to try to convince you to do one thing or the other. Um, I'm just here for, for advice. I'm here for, uh, to discuss investing. So uh, the first thing that I would say is to eliminate your consumer debt. So this was huge for me. This is exactly how I got started. Um, the first time that I ever got started even thinking about finances, um, I had it in my mind. I wanted to buy, you know, a house. I wanted to fix it up and I wanted to flip it. I had no idea about, you know, renting houses out or, um, or anything like that. It was all about buying them, fixing them up and flipping them. So I talked to a realtor at work and he agreed to take me, uh, to check out this house that he had, he had found that was inside of my price range at that time. And so we were in the car, we were running down the road and Dave Ramsey was on uh, the radio. I had never heard of him. I've never heard him speak at, up to that point. And I kind of, I liked what he had to say at that point. You know, my wife and I, uh, we had no kids. It was just us. We bought our house. Uh, but everything was financed. Everything down to the living room rug. It had a payment on it. Now I tell the story a lot, just so people understand uh, that, you know, we didn't always have it together. We didn't, we didn't do our finances in a good way at that time. It was 100% backwards. We financed everything that we had and we didn't know anything was wrong with that. So moving forward, um, yeah, heard him on the radio, uh, liked what he had to say, uh, lit a fire up under me and I started eliminating debt like crazy. Everything, uh, that we had that, that we owed on, I listed it down, um, from the lowest, uh, amount that I owed on something to the highest and and I don't remember now what order that stuff was in but it may have been that rug that was only you know 150 maybe 200 dollars that we put on a payment so that might have been the first thing and then um, you know our, our car or our TV or whatever else because it was it was insane back then um, but we listed them we started knocking that stuff out we had extra money uh, that we were really just throwing away eating out all the time or or whatever you know you know how it goes but um we, we ended up just knocking out that that debt and not really knowing what the next step was going to be but just just getting rid of that debt so that was definitely the first step our first step was uh being kicked in the butt basically that uh with the knowledge that what in the world are you doing why are you financing everything that you have uh, let's start being a little bit more wise with the income that that you've been allowed to have. So uh, step number one that I would give is because of what we did. Um, our first step wasn't to go out and buy a house. It wasn't to um, go to some seminar. It, it was getting in a buying position. So after we were in that position, all of our debt was gone. That took, uh, that took about a year or so, maybe two years, um, that we just started knocking everything out. And uh, from there, we started saving up cash. I mean, we saved like nobody's business. And it, it took us around three years. It was three, three and a half years uh, to save up $10,000. And that was our nest egg that was specifically for real estate. Now, of course, we weren't saving up for a specific house, uh, but we were just saving up for a house that fit inside of our parameters that we wanted. Uh, we had a list of things that we wanted um, in a rental property and you know that it had to fit we had to have enough money to be able to do that and so that's what we did we saved up cash for about three years three and a half years 
and just waited. We learned and we waited and we learned and we waited. So when I say that we learned, what I'm saying is uh, that we started researching things. You know, how does this stuff work? What's it like putting a lease together? Um, what should I expect in a tenant? What should a tenant be able to expect in me as a landlord? Uh, what kind of house are we looking at? Um, what kind of repairs are we looking at? Who's going to do those repairs? How much do repairs cost? So one of the best things I think that I ever spent time doing uh, was going and looking at houses. I didn't have any money. Uh, you could call me a tire kicker back then. Didn't have any money. I wasn't in a position to be able to buy anything yet, but I wanted to learn. So I would go um, to open houses. I would ask uh, local realtors, build up relationship with them, uh, relationships with them and, and discuss houses and, and you know, who would be able to fix this. And I'd start writing down names and of local contractors and, and people like that from the referrals of uh, the real estate agents. So all of that, that time that we were saving up money, we weren't just saving up money and sitting at home and saving up money and sitting at home. Uh, the whole time we were learning and, and growing in uh, what exactly should we be doing? So from there, we, we put a list together. We put a list of uh, realtors that we wanted to work with, that we enjoyed talking to. We w put a list together of contractors uh, that came highly recommended by those realtors. We started looking into what things would cost. And I even started doing uh, what, what I guess a lot of people do now. I don't know if they did it back then. I didn't, nobody taught me to do it, but it's just something that I kind of came up with when I was thinking that. But I, I basically flipped a house without flipping it. So what I mean by that is, um, I would go to a house, I would view it, I would write down the things that needed to be done to it. I paired that with my contractors that was that were given to me by the realtors. And I started looking at, you know, what are the fees that are associated with buying this house? What would it cost to close on this house? What's the purchase price of this? Um, what repairs does it need? Well, I know how much this costs now, so I can make a list of, you know, wh what my budget should be. And I know the contractors and their numbers, and I know who to call to fix this certain thing. Would this make money? And from there, I started basically piecing that stuff together with multiple houses. I looked at a ton of houses. I called on realtors all the time to the point where, um, you know, if, if I called, they knew I wasn't going to buy it, but I had built good relationships with them where they knew that one day I was going to buy it. I'm, I'm a serious one day buyer. Um, and so from there, you know, we did that and uh, we, I mean, putting the list together was huge for us. Getting that, those fake flips, I guess you'd call it, was huge because um, we ended up being able to use that same kind of theory later on whenever we were actually buying that first house. So the first house is the one that you guys are seeing, um, if you look back on my other videos, uh, my most recent videos, um, it's the house that we're working on now. So we bought it in 2016, first house we had ever bought for an investment. Um, it's really the only the second house that we had purchased because we just had purchased our uh, primary residence um, before that. So first house, 2016, um, it was in terrible condition. Uh, and when I say terrible, looking back then, it was terrible at that time. Uh, it seemed crazy to be able to even to, to even think about buying this house. Now it's something that's a dream. I wish I could find about 10 of them right now that were in that kind of condition. Um, but it just doesn't happen as often now. Uh, they're a little bit harder to find. But ended up calling a realtor that I had been working with. I ran the numbers. I took a bunch of pictures on the inside, did the tour with them, um, started piecing the, the deal together in my head and on paper and pen. You know, what does this need? How much will this cost? Uh, what's the down payment look like? And so for this house, it was actually $30,000. That's how much we had to pay for the house. Um, so for me with my 10,000, remember that we had sitting in the bank, we had that money. Um, we put uh, 3,000, if I'm not mistaken, either two or 3,000 down and the rest of that 10,000 we put into the remodel. So the remodel kind of, it consisted of a new roof and needed a new roof. It had never had HVAC in it. It had window air conditioners and wall heaters. So we had to think about taking those wall heaters out. Uh, we had to think about uh, getting rid of all those AC units. We had to think about an HVAC unit. We had to think about um, duct work that went into it. So all that had to be done. Um, it had terrible carpet in it. We had to rip that up, but we found that there was original hardwood floors from 1945 when the house was built inside that house under that carpet for whatever reason. Um, but we shined those up. We had to think about that. Um, paint. We uh, ripped out cabinets, put new cabinets in. We put 
um, a new flooring down. There, there was a bunch of stuff that we ended up doing to that house. Uh, some of it we did ourselves, some of them we didn't. Um, it was my first uh, ever opportunity, I guess you would call it, uh, of changing out a toilet. So that was that was really fun. It really wasn't. Um, but all of those things in that in the early stages, especially on that first house, you know, I did as much work as I possibly could on my own. Um, I, I got the help of my god sister as well. I mean, we went in there and we tore that place to, to bits and uh, and put it back together. Uh, the main things I couldn't do HVAC, um, I hired in the roof. I couldn't do. We hired in. There were a few things inside uh, that I didn't do myself. That me and my my god sister didn't do. Um, but for the most part everything was done by me and that saved us a ton of money um it, it didn't save us a bunch of time it, of course this is further on down the line now that i have this the knowledge that i do um i wish i could go back and if i could i would have saved up a little bit more money and learned uh to uh to have other people do the work for you uh, so that you can be focused on the next thing but in the early stages do the work you know learn those things because really when i look back on it you know, that's really where I learned how much things should cost, um, why they cost that much, why it cost, you know, that that much to be able to um, remove a toilet and replace it because it's disgusting. It's not fun. It's heavy, and you got to drain water, and you got to think about all the years that somebody said. I won't go into that. It's it's there's there uh, there are parts of it that are not fun. Um, but looking back on it, I wouldn't trade any of that because I learned so much um, and got so much stuff done that, you know, could have been hired out, would have cost a lot more money, but I wouldn't have learned all the lessons that I did. So for that house, we got it completely done. Um, and I, I do believe that we put 2000 down and 8000 into the house. I believe that that's right. Um, but I used a hard money lender with that. I'll do videos on that of the differences between using a hard money lender and going to the bank. Um, and, and I had my experiences going to the bank first and being uh, denied for multiple reasons. Uh, very hurtful back then, but now makes total sense. I wasn't prepared uh, the way that I should have been in that first stage. I thought I was, uh, but I really wasn't. Um, but we got it done. We got a renter in there, and the renter had been there for about four years, four and a half years. It was last year, 2020, um, when when they were removed from the house and we've done a total remodel down to the studs and of course i started the youtube channel about midway through that uh that remodel and that rehab so we're we're nearing the end of that now we're just doing the final touches and things on it but um now that thirty thousand dollar house that we put eight thousand dollars into is worth around a hundred and thirty hundred and forty thousand dollars um and all the while remember we've collected rent along the way so uh, when you look at an investment, there, there are a ton of different ways. There's so many. You can invest in businesses, stocks and mutual funds, real estate. There's, there's a ton of things that you can invest in. I don't know anything else that you can purchase, fix up, collect money for four years, and then sell for three, four times as much as you bought it for. I, I don't know many avenues um, that can let you do that. Uh, so I, I personally, I love real estate. Uh, that's the main thing that we do now in investing. We do a lot of other things too, but that's our foundation. That, that's really been the beginning of everything else that we've done. I will say though, in the very beginning, uh, when we were saving up that money, we saved like crazy, but we also invested and, and flipped some things in the meantime. There are cars that we bought uh, with some of that saved money and washed basically we didn't do a lot you know it may have needed new windshield wipers or new headlights uh, but turned around and flipped those but there were a ton of, of cars that we bought for a thousand or eleven hundred dollars i put a, just a little you know a hundred or two hundred dollars in and sold it for twenty five hundred and and were able to save more aggressively uh, by multiplying the money that we were saving from the job so there's a ton of things like that side hustles that you can do to get that first ten thousand or twenty thousand or whatever it is that you want to have uh, to make that first investment but long story short that's kind of how we got started um, that's some of the things that we did that's the position that we were in, in the very beginning drowning in debt i'm talking about one more bill would have put us underwater uh, to where we are now where we have multiple 
uh, rental properties. We've got um, our, our four-year-old son has, uh, and you've seen on some of the videos, the, the big spiral uh, gumball machines. He's got two locations uh, secured. Uh, we're, we're invested in some things now, and it's, it's just amazing. We've got one of the biggest projects, the biggest project of my life coming up um, in the next few months. And I can't wait to share that with you. I'm not just yet, uh, but it's, it's coming, and it's really, really soon. Couldn't be more excited about that. But with that being said, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did, if you got a nugget out of something that I've said, if you learned something or if you're going to apply something that, uh, that I've brought up today, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what that is. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed so that you always get notified when the next video comes. Uh, but appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.